Hands of Ramon Decker, one of the most recognized non-Thai kickboxers in the world. Jimmy Lennon Jr. spoke with him. What does it feel like to be probably the most popular foreign fighter to ever fight in Thailand, Muay Thai style? Yeah, it's very good. I, I want to be the best fighter in Muay Thai, and that's what I am now. People respect me over here in Thailand. Yeah, it gives me a great feeling. You know? I hear you're treated almost like a king when yeah. you go through the airport. And, yeah, you know, I don't need a passport. I can walk through it. No passport needed. It's that celebrity that has made Ramon Decker a major draw whenever he fights here at Lumpini Stadium in Bangkok, Thailand. But kickboxing wasn't always his career of choice. In the beginning, it was my hobby, you know. Uh, my trainer started at the gym in, uh, in Holland, and I went over there, and I, yeah, I liked what I, what I saw. So that's when I started training, and it becomes my work now. I'm a professional, so... What other, do you fight other styles or just more? No, I did a year of boxing, only, only uh, boxing for a year, and then I started uh, Thai boxing, Muay Thai. Not only have the Thai people embraced Decker, Dutch expatriates gather to show their support. Decker's fighting style is the key to his universal appeal. For those uh, fans who haven't seen you fight before, describe your style for us. I will fight, I, every technique I make, I want to do it as hard as, hard as possible, you know? And yeah, try to look the strongest and the, and the toughest fighter in the ring. So. No backing up? No. That's what makes you so popular here? I think so, yeah. They say I got a big heart and never give up. Let me ask you something that might be controversial. The white crew or the ceremonial dance before tonight. Mm -hmm. Are you going to dance or not? No. No, I, I never did it before, so why should I do it now? You know? And it's it's a traditional for the Muay Thai fight, but yeah, for me it's they say it's also for your concentration, but for me it, I, it gets me out of concentration. You know, the, the run Muay before a fight, so I don't do it. Coming up next, the intercontinental battle between Decker and Tirapong Sitgoilut. Land, the river traffic is just as busy as the road traffic. Jimmy Lennon Jr., take it away. Ladies and gentlemen, a very good evening and welcome. Sawadee Krab Tan Bumi Kyat Chuk Tan. Well, fans joining us around the world, we welcome you to the world famous Lumpini Stadium here in Bangkok, Thailand for a big night of historic action coming your way. And it's all brought to you by Bum Joon Busarak Kong Won and Song Chai Ratanasahu. This is coming your way, ladies and gentlemen, scheduled five rounds of action and international showdown coming your way. Presenting to you first on my left, fighting out of the red corner, wearing red trunks, and fighting out of Brita Holland. At a weight of 149 pounds, his outstanding record includes 120 wins, 10 losses, with 60 wins coming by way of knockout. Hop in a hand for the very top Dutch diamond. Ramon Decker! And his opponent across the ring in the blue corner wearing purple trunks with white trim fighting out of Bangkok, Thailand. He weighed in at 147 pounds with a record of 32 wins and 15 losses. 13 wins coming by way of knockout. He is known as the Hell. Tila Pong Sip Kolayut. Ramon Decker, somewhat abbreviated Y crew. Of course, not a Thailand fighter, but he is still under Muay Thai rules, honored and obliged to do some sort of homage. Tira Pong, who will be fighting in the blue corner and the blue trunks with a more traditional Y crew ceremony at Setter Ring. Well, the surprising thing is that Ramon Decker has done an abbreviated Y crew. He's known for wanting to just get to the action. However, his Mo Kwan headdress, he took off prematurely. That piece of equipment you, seen around, you see around the head of Tira Pong, that blue piece, that is blessed by a Buddhist monk before each bout and each fighter wears it. It's the last piece of equipment to be removed before they begin fighting. Ramon Dekars has taken his off prematurely. 
that is not going to be popular with the ties here and certainly not with his opponent. Decker is a very popular fighter here in Thailand normally. This is an ISKA Intercontinental Welterweight Championship fight. Five rounds. Weight limit 142. Both fighters extremely experienced. Decker's almost unbelievably so. 130 fights by this young man already. 60 wins by knockout. Half of his wins by knockout. Very different style you'll see from the Europeans as you'll see from the Thai fighters. You can hear in the background the traditional time music, and you can see Tira Pong moving in rhythm with that music. The TIE fighters will do that to steady their rhythm and gather their concentration. You already see Decker going low with his kicks. We see TIE fighters kick a lot, certainly, but most of it is in the upper body area. We see a lot of European and American fighters, particularly in Muay Thai and Oriental rules, go immediately for the legs and try to take out the underpinnings of their opponent. Very fast left leg by Tira Pong. It's not been able to land it solidly yet, but it comes flying in there. Tara Pong still moving in time with the music, but Decker, as you see it, a little more flat-footed, tries to explode out of the stance, much more of a Western or European uh, stance before each movement. One other difference you'll see in this bout, you'll see Deckers with Western style hand movements, much more of a, of a boxing approach with his hands. The Thai fighters here in Bangkok do not jab. They go with right hooks, they go with straight lefts, but they don't jab. You'll see Deckers do that during this bout. And again here, underneath the left leg of Tira Pong, the inside of the right thigh. Good score by Decker. Tira Pong back with his own roundhouse kicks up top. He's been much better to the body than Decker's. Just about set to begin round two. Ramon Decker, certainly a crowd favorite, but maybe that pre-fight Y crew faux pas, if I may blend about four different languages right there, maybe it hurt him with the crowd. Well, we can't overemphasize to you how important tradition is to the Thai people. This is their sport, Muay Thai. It's a thousand years old. It's what the fighters that participate in it live for. And the fans that are packed into this place, they, they are not just here to see a sport. This is part of their tradition, their culture, and their heritage, and they want it to be respected. This is a sport that is in the history books here in Thailand. It is something that every child grows up with his entire life. This is baseball, football, all rolled into one for the Thai people. We've seen in past Muay Thai fights here in Bangkok, the first two rounds rather slow. An extremely long feeling out period, six minutes of it, and then rounds three and four go strong. But I don't think Decker is going to be content to sit back that long. He wants it, and he wants it now. 
We're seeing a real contrast in styles here, Lon. The Thai fighters that tend to, to move with the music and at regular intervals, they explode at each other. They tend to pepper each other with roundhouse kicks to the ribs, straight punches, no real combinations with their punches, just using them as mid-range techniques. They get inside, clinch, then elbows and knees. Decker with his more Western style, he's looking to jab. He's looking to jab, perform combinations with his hands, stick, move. Those are things that are somewhat foreign here to the ties. Good counter by Decker as Tirapong was blocked with his kick attempt. So far, Tirapong sticking to the, to the Muay Thai style. What pressure on this 19-year-old Thai fighter, Tira Pong. Not only fighting the national sport in front of millions and millions of fans worldwide, he's doing it against a farang, as they call them here, a foreigner. Trying to uphold the national honor. They tell me if the Thai fighter loses to a non-Thai fighter, not only does he lose, but the country loses. That's a lot for 19-year-old shoulders to carry. Well, right now, those shoulders and those legs are doing quite well because Tira Pong has distinguished him. Yeah. Round three. You will see fireworks you have never seen before here in round three. Both fighters gearing up for some heavy artillery, it looks like. Uh, Ramon Deckers, we noticed between rounds, was having his right shin iced. A huge bruise on that shin. He doesn't seem to care. He's already thrown three heavy roundhouse kicks with it already in this round, and he doesn't appear to care what he hits with that leg. And Decker showed that he had taken some punishment from Tirapong. Severe redness under the right armpit of Decker. We also see some bruising and swelling under the left eye of Decker and a bloody nose. What he, we have not seen yet in this bout is any clinching knee strikes or elbow strikes. Those may come later. All the European fighters tell me to win a fight here in Lumpini, they need a knockout. They will not win a fight here on points. They know that. That is in their brain. Decker must knock out Tirapong to win. That is what his mental state is right now. This is a tremendously important fight here in Thailand. Decker's fighting for the pride not only of his country, but for foreigners that come here to fight. Tara Pong trying to show that Dekar or anyone else cannot come in here and defeat the best that Lumpini has to offer. This fight is for the ISKA Intercontinental title. A trickle of blood has shown itself down the middle of the forehead of Tira Pong. This title bout was arranged with the help, cooperation, and assistance of the World Muay Thai Council, the worldwide governing body for the Muay Thai sport. Special thanks to General Voyayut, who is here tonight witnessing this bout for his assistance, and to Philip Wong and Song Chai. Decker takes two hard blows from either end of the body from Tirupal. Decker has slowed his attack on the legs of his opponent. Decker's right shin is now various shades of black and red, but no longer flesh colored. Blood now from the nose of Tirapong. He is taking punishment, but I think he is right in his upraised arms, Mike. He fought one heck of a third round, did Tirapong. I'd have to put Tira Pong ahead on my scorecard right now, Lon. He's been the more aggressive fighter. 
sticking to his game plan, and Decker has not been able to effectively implement his as of yet. Ramon Decker, I think, is worried. There is Tirapong. He's got the support of his corner men. He's got the support of about 40 people behind his corner, not to mention probably most of the 8,000 people here in Lumpenese Stadium, right in the heart of congested downtown Bangkok. As we've been mentioning, gambling is legal. Somebody may come down and say, hey, you knock him out, you win, I give you so-and-so amount of money. That is called an injection. It gives the fighter encouragement to keep on going and beat this Farang opponent. Yes, it's a bonus to their purse. Their purse can change upwards as the fight goes on. This is round four. Three-minute rounds were scheduled for five rounds. This is an ISKA Intercontinental Welterweight Championship bout on ESPN2. Lon McCarron along with Mike Sawyer from Bangkok. I think Decker knows he has some work to do. Decker switching momentarily to his left leg at the beginning of this round, attacking the inside of Tara Pong's left leg, but now he goes back to his right. Tara Pong manages to sneak that left leg under the right arm of Decker. That is where the swelling and the redness is, and that is where the pain is. Decker, although he's still kicking hard with that right leg, appears to be stepping rather gingerly on it. And as we mentioned in the last round, that right shin is now almost completely black and blue. The pain when he kicks with that leg must be tremendous. That hurt Tira Pong. Very nicely executed leg kicks by Decker. Decker emphasized how ready he was for this bout, trained at the excellent Hammer Gym in Breda, but has not yet been able to gain the upper hand in this contest. Decker with a slip. And as Decker stands in there, he must feel everything is against him. Tirapong, the people in Tirapong's corner, the 8,000 people behind them, the orchestra, and a national heritage as well. That front kick hurt, seemed to slide right under the left rib cage. Grimace on Decker's face. A cut now over the right eye of Tirapong. Three sources of blood from the Thai fighter. Decker looks to be closing for an elbow. Near we'll be back with the final round in just a moment. Some final stretches from Tirapong as we get set for round five. Mike, at this point, is it, uh, does Decker need a knockout? I think so, Lon. Decker has put up a great fight, but he hasn't been able to put his game plan into action. Tara Pong has just been too quick. Decker can't catch him. Tara Pong swaying and moving to the rhythm of the orchestra in his Lupinese Stadium. <laughs> 
Decker looks Baffert. frustrated at this point. He hit the inside leg of Tirapong's right leg, right in the thigh area, and Tirapong flinched. I don't think he can put much weight on that leg. Tirapong's right leg looking unstable, similar to Decker's right. Both fighters hampered by leg damage. That one put Tirapong down, but I think it was partial uh, slip. Yeah, they rule it a slip. That was Decker's best shot of the fight. Tremendous roundhouse kick under the left arm of Tirapong. Lon, from this vantage point, it looked to be no doubt that he was knocked down with that roundhouse kick, but the referee disagreed, called it a partial slip. There is a cut on the top of the head of Terrapong. Probably from one of, a, of Dekar's early roundhouse kicks. There's been blood flowing from that cut since the second round. 25 seconds left in this fight. Decker may be used up. He has not sat down between rounds. He's been on his feet the whole time. The right shin is looking very nasty. And that is it for this ISKA Intercontinental Welterweight title bout. Decker goes to Tirapong's corner for the congratulatory hug from his corner. There is Tirapong. As the crowd anxiously awaits the decision. And it goes to Tirapong, a victory over Ramon Decker from Holland. We'll be back with more on ESPN2. Always a good fight when your guy wins and money changes hands in your favor. As it did for a lot of people tonight at Lumpini Stadium. Terrific night of kickboxing here on ESPN2.